hi lovelies welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today we're working on this really gorgeous pastel blue ombre acrylic set with a whole lot going on so this is like a christmas nail tutorial but not so much christmasy <laughs> <laughs> But before I get into today's video, let me give a shout out to my notification squad. Thank you guys so much for being the first three people to get in and drop a comment on my last video. And if you're ready and excited to see how I recreated this set, because yes, it was requested by my clients. It's not an original Be Glamorous set, but I'll be sharing it with you guys anyway. Then let's go. Okay, so first off, let me apologize. Her nails have already been prepped. I did apply my tips and I cut them to the length that she wanted. And the reason for that is I was not planning to record this set because it's not my original idea. But it is so cute and I decided to turn the camera on at the last minute. So I'm taking my Makart 100-100 grit hand file and I'm using this to redefine that shape a little bit more. Now these are the BG Nails Effortless Nail Tips. I do have a similar set of nail tips on my amazon storefront you guys can definitely check that out i will link it in my description box taking the same hand file i'm going to gently blend the artificial nail into my client's natural nail plate now i am not touching my client's nail plate at all with this file because it is a 100 100 grit it is very coarse so therefore i'm only focusing on the nail extensions i'm not going to be removing the shine from the entire nail tip because we are using acrylic to do this set so there's no need for me to do that this is also going to help save on your time once you're using acrylic products there's no need to remove the shine from the entire nail extension you do that if you're using gel now if you guys want an in-depth prep video i do have one of those on my channel where i walk you through step by step on how to properly prep the natural nails and that is this video right here and i would link it in my description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out So here's what the nails look like after they've been filed and shaped and blended. So I'm just going to take this dust brush that came in the Melody Suzy 10 piece diamond drill bit set as well as my isopropyl alcohol and I do like using 99% alcohol and I am going to be removing any extra dust from on the nail bed. Now I'm taking my JC Beauty Concepts dehydrator and I'm going to be applying this to the natural nails only. Next, I'm going to go in with my JC Beauty Concepts Extra Bonder and this is their primer. And I absolutely love this primer. It really and truly does help with preventing lifting and I will link it in my description box below as well as you can use my coupon code and save yourself 15% off. Now, I apply two coats of this. I do allow the first coat to dry completely and for my second layer, I do allow it to dry just a little bit until that layer starts to look a bit tacky. I'm going to take my my Kiera Sky all-in-one clear powder as well as the Kiera Sky monomer and my Alpha number no. 10 oval Kalinsky brush and I'm going to take a small to medium sized bead of acrylic depending on the nail that I'm working on. I'm going to place it a hairline away from the cuticle and then I'm going to use the tip of my brush to blend it up into that cuticle area. After blending in my cuticle area I'm going to pull any of the excess clear acrylic to meet the nail extension. This is just to give me a nice smooth foundation to start laying my acrylic it's also going to make it a lot easier when my client decides that she comes back for an infill if she wants to change out this design i can always file down to this 
thin layer and start a fresh new set tell me in the comment section below when you're filing down a design do you charge for an infill or do you charge for a fresh new set I am starting on the pinky nail with a small bead of this Kiara Sky all-in-one powder in the color Baby Boo. And that bead was way too small for me to cover the entire nail tip. So I did take a medium-sized bead of acrylic and I placed it right where the small bead stopped. And I blended it into the first bead that I started laying on the nail. Taking this medium-sized bead with the body of my brush and working it all the way to the free edge of the extension. Removing any excess acrylic if there is any. Any. also making sure as that acrylic is still wet using the body of my brush to maintain the shape of these nails I do allow the color at the tip of my ombre to dry so I'm going to repeat this step on all the ombre nails Now that that baby boo has set, I'm taking the JC Beauty Concepts Cover Blush Acrylic Powder and I'm going to use this as my nail bed color. So I did place a small bead right where the baby boo stopped and I started pressing and blending it into the natural nail plate and pulling the excess acrylic up towards that baby boo to create that transition. So taking a medium sized bead of the JC Beauty Concepts Cover Blush, I'm placing it right where the baby boo and the nail plate meet. This is going to start my transition. So I make sure that there is no harsh lines behind the acrylic and then I pull the excess up into the baby boo. Next, I place a bead close to the cuticle area, but not exactly up into the cuticle because I do use my brush to work the product back. And then I continue to pull any of the excess up into that baby boo. This just helps to further assist in creating that nice smooth transition. So every time I lay down a small bead of that nude acrylic powder and I pull it up into that baby boo, what it is doing, it's actually creating a different layer of that transition, which is going to make the transition appear even smoother. And I really truly really hope that you guys understand. If it is that you want a more in-depth tutorial as to how I create my ombres, I would link this video on my end screen so you guys can go ahead and check it out. I walk you through step by step on how to create the perfect ombre acrylic nails and for the final two nails I'm just going to build up the entire structure of the nail with my JC Beauty Concepts cover blush.
I'm going back in with the clear all-in-one care sky powder and I'm going to use this to encapsulate all the ombre nails now I'm not really working this powder to the cuticle area I'm just protecting the ombre so I'm working it over where the two colors transition into each other and then I'm going to pull the excess of that clear all the way to the free edge of the nail tip after I do this I am going to allow them to set and once my acrylic is set it's time to file shape and buff and if you guys are interested I do have a discount code you get 10% off your entire purchase if you use coupon code be glam on the Kiara Sky website and I would link it in my description Now it's time to file these babies back into shape. So I'm starting off with my Makat 100 100 grit hand file. And I'm going to use this to reshape the side walls as well as the free edge of the extension. So to seal in the cuticle area and go across the surface of the nail today I'm using my extra fine ceramic drill bit and you can find this on my Amazon storefront under nail essential tools and I would also link it in my description below. I absolutely love this because it's not going to take down any bulk. It is not a safety bit. If you're interested in a safety bit, I will recommend the 5-in-1 carbide drill bit which is also on my Amazon storefront and for those of you who prefer that type of bit, I will link it in the description as well these are absolutely perfect for just making sure that the surface of the nail doesn't have any imperfections any dips or bumps in your acrylic application without taking off too much product So usually at this point I will go in and buff the nails but I am currently waiting for my buffers to arrive so I'm taking my Makat 180 grit hand file on the 180 grit side and I'm going to use this to buff over the surface of the nail and the reason why I'm using the 180 grit side is because it's finer and it is going to make the nails smooth but not too smooth where my gel polish top coat is not going to adhere to this. After I finished my filing I did go in off camera sprayed with my 99% alcohol and cleanse these nails from all this dust. I do not allow my clients to wash their hands because when I was first learning to do nails, I actually saw a video on YouTube. I can't remember from whom because this was like years ago and the tutorial actually said that having your clients wash their hands affects the setting of the acrylic. 
I don't know how true it is. So in my mind, I'm just going to stick with that because that's what I learned at that time. And to this day, that is what has worked for me. So if you are having problems with your nails not lasting and you wash your hands or you allow your clients to wash their hands after you finish file, try not doing that and cleansing with alcohol. This is what I've been doing for years and my clients' nails do last five, six weeks for the ones that actually push it to that extent before they come back. So definitely try it out and let me know if it makes a difference. I would love to hear your feedback. So the nail art design part of this video was inspired as I said it was requested by my client. So I'm taking my Madame Glam's No Wipe Gel Top Coat as well as this Sugar Effect Glitter by the Veronique Shop. As that top coat is still wet I'm just going to pour the Sugar Effect Glitter over the entire nail. I do take my finger and lightly tap the glitter just to press it into that top coat even more to make sure that it doesn't move i'm going to clean up any excess around the cuticle and then i'm just going to pop her hand into the light and i'm going to cure this nail for 60 seconds On this nail, I'm placing down some of my favorite McCart rhinestone glue. And as that glue is still wet, I'm just going to go over this area right there with my no wipe gel top coat. And I'm going to start placing my crystals into that wet gel. I'm also using some microbeads and I'm just going to be placing them, shifting them around until I'm happy with the placement. Next, I'm going to go ahead and cure this in place before I apply my matte gel top coat. So whenever I'm doing matte nails and I do have crystals to apply, Apply, I always go in with my no wipe gel top coat over that wet gem gel just to make sure those crystals are sealed in place before I use my matte gel top coat and I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same step on the thumbnail as well On this nail, I'm going to be doing some 3D flowers and for the center of my flower, I already apply my crystal. Next, I did dip my 3D brush into my white acrylic powder and then into that baby boo to give my petals an ombre effect. So keeping the tip of my brush close to that crystal, I'm going to put the weight on the body of the brush and I'm going to use that to widen my petals out. When it comes to creating the details in my flower petals, I make sure after placing that bead of acrylic where I want that petal to be on the nail to wipe the majority of liquid out of my brush. And while I'm doing that, I'm also flattening the bristles of my brush. When that bead of acrylic starts to go from gloss to matte, which means the acrylic is starting to set, I'm going to take the flattened part of my bristles keeping the tip or point of my brush angled towards the crystal i'm going to press the bristles of my brush into that matte acrylic and this is going to cause the bristles to imprint on the acrylic to create the definition in my flowers and i'm going to repeat this until all the flowers at the base are completed if i find that the ombre is not standing out as much as i want it to i'm going to go in with a tiny bead of that baby blue shade and i'm going to place it very close to the crystal and i'm going to use the liquid in my brush to blend it into the white acrylic now this is the base layer i am going to go on top of this with another row of petals so therefore i'm not going to do it for the bottom row because you're not even going to see it that much and i do find that the ombre looks really cute as it is taking a bead of acrylic that is a little bit smaller than the one that i used for the bottom row i'm going to start placing my beads in between each flower petal from the previous row and i'm just going to repeat the same thing with my brush to create the details in each petal whenever you're doing 3d nail art it's very important to work with a dry 
brush now you do want your brush to be dry but not too dry where the acrylic is actually sticking up into the bristles of the brush you just want to make sure that after you place that bead of acrylic when you pick it up from in your powder and you place it where you want it on the nail to dry your brush pass it back and forth on your paper towel to ensure that the liquid is drained out of that brush if you don't wipe your brush and you go in with all that liquid to press the bead of acrylic out you're going to make it runny and you're not going to get the details that you're looking for in your flower petals so you do want to keep that in mind when it comes to creating 3d nail art and once you follow the simple tricks that i gave you guys in this video you are going to get those definitions in your flower petals so now as that flower is completed i'm going to repeat the same steps only this time i'm creating a smaller flower on this side of the nail Chilling and having a good, good time Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do We'll be chilling and having a good, good time After completing my flowers, I'm using Madame Glam's Pure Cloud Gel Polish to create some line details on the nail. And as that gel polish is still wet, I'm going to be adding some sugar effect over it. Next, I'm going to flash cure for about 15 seconds and I'm going to randomly be placing some microbeads. And I am using my McCart Rangstone Glue to apply my microbeads as well. But seeing as I want the background of this nail to be matte, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I use my alcohol as well as my cleaner brush to remove any of the excess gem gel or rhinestone glue as McCart calls it on the nail before I pop it into the lights and cure it. So on the final two nails, I'm going to be doing some line work. So I'm taking the Veronique Shop White Painting Gel, as well as this art brush that I also picked up from the Veronique Shop. I don't know if they have it in stock. If they do, I would link it in my description box below. But I absolutely love it. It is amazing and it just glides on the nail. Now I did apply my Madame Glam's Velvet Matte underneath the line work and I'm going in and creating an outline as if I were about to create a French tip on this nail. When I'm happy with the way that the French outline looks before curing this nail I'm going to create two lines a curved one and a straight one and then I'm going to outline the free edge of the extension. I did cure this nail for a full 30 seconds because that white gel paint is so opaque you need to make sure that it's fully cured and now I'm going over this nail again with my velvet matte and I did give it a full 30 second kill. Dancing all night long, we're gonna dance, dance, and have a good time. I 
Oh my gosh, guys, I was going so good with recording up until this point. So I forgot to press record, but I'm just showing you guys. I went over the white with the same pure cloud by Madame Glam to create the abstract line on this nail. And as that gel polish is still wet, I'm going to create a sugar effect. Now, this is going to stay as is. So I'm not going to go ahead and top coat this nail again. What I am going to do is I'm going to be placing some crystals to the cuticle area. Again, I am going to seal this in with my matte gel top coat just to make sure that my crystals hold in place even though I'm using the rhinestone gel but you do want to make sure when you're sealing the crystals in as the nail has already been top coated and it does have this sugar effect on it that you take a detailer brush and you go around these crystals with a very very thin thin layer of that gel polish and because this is a matte base you try not to get it on your crystals at all if you do then you go ahead and remove it before you cure that because if not your stones are going to turn matte On this nail, I'm going to be creating another abstract line design using the same techniques that I showed you guys from the previous one. So after using my white gel paint and the same striper brush, I am going to make sure to clean up any excess lines that are where I don't need them to be before I go ahead and cure my white gel paint. And I do cure this for a full 30 seconds. After curing the white, I did go in off camera and I applied another layer of my velvet matte and I cure that again for 30 seconds so taking the same pure cloud gel polish i'm going to be creating another sugar effect on this nail and i'm also going to be adding some crystals to top this nail off so if you've stuck it out until this point and you're still watching this video go ahead and flood my comment section right now with some cloud emojis Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. And that was it for this set. I hope you guys enjoy this really long watch me work video on this Christmas but not so much Christmas nail design. I mean for the most part my clients have their nails even into the new year so some of them don't like your typical Christmas themed nail design. This is why I thought I would share this one with you guys because it is an alternative to have both Christmas and New Year's nails in one and I will have a clip of the final result again at the end of the video to share with you guys if you like this video go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and make sure that you subscribe right now so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos i do post new nail tutorials every week and coming in 2020 i'll be giving you guys a specific day 2021 oh sorry Oh my gosh, do you guys feel like that sometimes? Like 2020 just flew all the way by. So in 2021, I'll give you guys a specific day as to when I'll be uploading. Make sure that your notifications are turned on to always notify. That way you won't ever miss out on my new videos once they're posted. So that is it for me. I hope you're having an amazing day or night. Whatever time it is where you're watching from right now. As always, I would love for you guys to stay glamorous. Be safe. And I'll see you soon. And have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah.